Get here. Easy now, isn't it? Aye, he's just good. These chibi at the old ones are coming out like most of these Hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep is the game. Thanks for coming back, Lamb and Squad, and watching a couple more videos. We a couple more. This is just one video. Uh, we have started. We're starting. We're in a different mindset today because I gave myself a slap this morning and said, "What will be will be. Let's get on with it." So let me show you something positive. Well, it's not actually positive. It's a debt. So I've got to watch the words I say because YouTube's big on that too. But there's a perish lamb here. But our final set of quads has lambed. And she's got three of them up and sucked. And our wee lamb has just perished here. I take it all back. I take it all back. Do you know, I was thinking as I walked over there, that's lying very, very funny looking. It's actually okay, that wee lamb. I take it all back. We are starting a, a positive thing. And we're taking this wee lamb away. We'll get it in the hot box. We'll leave the her with those three just now. I'll likely lift another one because with them being quads, they're naturally smaller, not as uh, robust as some of our bigger triplets that can survive. Marissa, there you go, starting the day successfully. Uh, so there we go, there we go, positive vibes. Now, uh, uh, a lot of people asking. You know why? Why are they not all inside? Give them shelter. Give them a chance. I have to say, this is like this. This weather, when the weather's good, lambing outside is the best way to do it. It's an absolute pleasure, a joy. I, I'd argue it's easier um, than lambing indoors. When it's like this, it's a disaster, and and that's where we are. But this is unseasonal. I, I think I said in the last vlog, I spoke to a farmer yesterday, and we're only halfway through the month, and not even halfway through the month, we're already on for the wettest April in ten years. So that's that's how things are. Let's finish the rounds. Just a quick look here. Another successful set of triplets there. Last one just out the wrapper. I'll leave mum alone, won't stress her out. Come back and check in them soon. We're in the singles field and I can see the, the next problem on the horizon. We're just heading round to see it. Try not to get stuck. How do you spot? Hang on, still there. How do you spot? Had to keep her running so she didn't lamb in here. Okay, Marissa. Pop this on out quick as. Might be too late here. There is two feet though. There's always a chance. There's always a chance. Swollen tongue. What's the heart rate? Come here, Lammy. Quite a weak heartbeat. God, we're so close with that. Don't reaction to it at all now. I can't actually feel a heartbeat. Okay, that's a goner. We'll pop on the trailer, get our lamb. Bugger. Yeah, singles are a, a big problem this year. Okay, let's get on. Should be getting inside, should be in this. Steady, 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 steady. Get here. Get here. Wait, shh, wait, shh. So a little pro prolapse girl has started lambing here. You saw us catching up. So she's popped the spoon out already. Just wait for us to get the glove on. And then we'll have a look and see what's happening. Two feet in the head, yeah, usually <clears throat> once you see a spoon popped out like that, usually a sign that there's something hard there to push the spoon out. Big lambs for a wee gimmick. up. Tricks to get your knee, just get your knee up on her. Not on her, but like if you straighten your left leg, which can't get away from you, and you can get a good pull. There 
Yeah. Good big lamb. That's bound to help with some of the pressure problems. Come on, Lammy. You're absolutely fine. He's absolutely fine. He's just taking a while to get a kickstart. It's coming any second now. There he is. There he is. There he is. Thanks for coming back. Hey, can't feel the second one. Feel our belly, make sure there is a second one. What are you feeling for? Something obviously really hard in the... Aye. Aye. Well, I mean, ask Anders, so there's, there's a 92% chance it's correct. She, she might be a bit unusual inside just because she has been prolapsing, so it was inside out a bit. Is it all coming together? Yeah, the head's like falling back a wee bit. <laughs> Try to put my thumb under the jaw, like you said. So just leave the feet where they are and just focus on getting the head through the pelvis. You want to get your fingers hooked in behind the, the back of the skull. We might these two fingers hooked behind the head and pull, pull them through. So you're like two fingers catching the back of the skull and then you're, you're using almost like round the eye sockets. There's like another wee grip point, although I've got bigger hands than you, I appreciate that. But I'd be trying to clamp the head like that and pull it forward. Thanks for demonstrating the spot. Heads through the pelvis, you're absolutely fine. Just get a good pull. There you go. Nice steady pressure. And then get behind those ears. That's it. Jeez, lass, these are just monsters. Jeez, oh. Jeez, oh. I think we just bring her inside where we can keep an eye on her. Well, from a positive to a negative, back to a positive. Monster lambs out that girl that we fixed the prolapse on back in day two or something like that, very early on. She's a tiny little gimmer right enough. They're just ridiculous sized lambs. And great lambing from Marissa there as well. I was maybe confusing her a bit about bringing the head too far forward. She had it through the pelvis. So we're well into the second part of the day. We're actually nearly at 5pm. It's been a funny day of... Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, yeah. We've had lots of problems again. Rain. I haven't actually done as much vlogging today. But uh, we're, we're keeping a positive mindset. Two lambs obviously with their guts out today. It's an absolute scunner. I, I think genuinely with the second one, certainly. Um, the biggest problem with that was how big a pull we had to get it out. Pulled it so hard and I think that's what it was. It's just such a big lamb. I mean, there's a, no feeding, but it's a lesson for us, I think, next year, if there's going to be this much grass about, we'll need to do something different. Let me turn you around. Lizzie's seen one with a head and a leg out somewhere. Oh, there it's there, right. She needs a bit of assistance, I think. Oh, definitely. See how easy they are to miss, though? I mean, she's not, like, showing any signs. She's just juking about there. Down your spot. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Here, here. Easy now, isn't it? Aye, he's just good. I know, he's just so good. Oh, bring us a glove. Well done, Spotty. Please bring us a glove. No, no, I'm just saying that I'm terrible because I don't say please, but in Scotland, do people in England say please? I said please. Would you say please to your brother? I said please to the man that chased my sheep. You did, that's right. That's a good point. Lizzie said she said please to the man with the dog chasing the sheep, and I did not, but I don't I don't think um, we say please so much to, to our friends or lovers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, she says. Jason Christ. There we go, we lammy. Nice to have, nice to have some success. The ground even feels dry, that harsh wind, but it was just, it was really heavy rain just not that long ago. Next one backwards. Great wee bag, great wee lambs. See this is where the, 
the uh, mule is definitely winning for us this lambing time over the Chivet mule. Much more cover on the lambs. You know, good hair over the head. A bit more wool on them as they're born. These Chivet mule lambs are coming out like low face Lesters. Like pure low face Lesters and they're just freezing. I think she'll be quite happy there with them. Head straight up, it's great to see. Oh, what a wind. It's no f***ing rain. It's blowing a gale, but I'd rather it was blowing a gale than the rain, tell you that. It helps dry the ground up, especially because there's a wee bit of a bright thing in the sky. Last, if I go away. Okay, so, next up we have a mix-up. Next up we have a mix-up. Look how woolly they are, great. Bit of cover. See when the sun's shining a bit and you know, you're sitting in the CF moto with the love of your life. Um, I'm out with Lizzie actually instead, but um, you could you could actually say this is a great job. And genuinely see when the weather's like this, this is the best way to lamb sheep. It's just that it doesn't stay like this for long, unfortunately. <sighs> On to the next problem. Okay, so we got one of these for Spot. Spot! I lose Spot. He loves my mum just now because uh, Sky is in heat, so my mum, obviously because Sky lives in the house, my mum must smell, smell like Sky, and Spot just will not leave my mum alone, and he's always desperate to get in the house, and Sky's desperate to get out. We don't want any more pups. Anyway, got a collar. Got one with a chain, and we got one with this. I think I like this better, because it's nice and light, but we're gonna try, and try it on him, see what he thinks. I lose Spot! I lose Spot! Here he comes. Hey Spotty. Spotty, got your new collar. So let me see this one here. Oh, right. Off with the old. On with the new, nice and padded. Very snazzy looking. So where, where's the sweet spot with that? We don't want it tight. Is that a sweet spot, Mum? Bit, bit slacker yet? I mean, he's not really going to pull against it, is he? That's nice and slack. Hi, Jock. And then that there. And then the idea of this as it goes round about and clips on here and then any time you need to, to clip them to something or tie them to something you can just clip it off and clip them on there we go hey, don't ask me where we, got, where we get them from it's called colliery clip collars colliery clip collars apparently Lizzie Welsh. bought them Welsh colliery clip collars don't ask me how you spell that but just google it, I take it, you just googled it uh, I heard about them before I think Facebook? Okay. You have to message on Facebook too. Oh, did you? Yeah. There you go. Facebook, look them up on Facebook. Not, a, not. We bought them. We paid for them. I don't even. I don't know the folk, but they're quite nice colours. Jockey! What do you see? Do you see any sheep? Yeah. Lammies! Do you see any lambs? I I guess, do you see anything? Water! 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 That's it! Mum's got funny ideas sometimes, Jockey! Rather than go the dry route! Not many triplets left now, Jock. Thanks, Jock. You carry the lamb. Take it back. Hi, Mum. Hey, Mum. What have you got there? A mummy. Is it a mummy? 
Let's go. You hold on, Jock. Let's go. It's amazing how time gets away from me at this job, so I'm going to try this little lamb's in getting a heat. See if we can get him revived a bit and get some colostrum. He's starting to look, oh, coming back to life. Unbelievable what that hot box does. I mean, <clears throat> one thing, and that's, I, I put, I took his brother's skin off and put it on this quad. So we'll try and put them both back, oh. He's really coming back to life. It is uh, absolutely incredible what that hot box does. Folks, and, and genuinely, I'm not just saying this. If, most of the time, if we get a lamb in, um, and put, put it in the hot box, there's been yeah, it's two or three occasions, but generally speaking, it comes round, no bother. I mean, there's other things you can do, like having them glucose and, and, and other things to experience it, but generally speaking, I find you get them right. You get them a little shot of, oh, this was one guy we got right earlier, but he's just sitting very funny that makes me suspicious. Steady. You okay, me, lamb? You just... So it had him. Hot box. Oh, you funny anyway, lamb. You were looking all right earlier. Hey, if I just woke you up funny. Oh, he's one of these few guys, I think. His head's just always off to the side. Is it? Or it's just, I've just woke him up. Okay, we'll chip him again and, and see what we can do with it. Now, the, uh, there's a lamb with the guts out. I can't show it on YouTube. And I do, listen guys, I apologise. It's actually, I'm so stuck as what to do here because YouTube's giving the ch channel strikes all the time for the content we're putting out. Even when we're trying to censor it, we're still getting strikes and having to redo it. It's just taking the, f oh, it's just a nightmare. Um, so there's a lamb with its guts out. We can't show it, obviously. Um, and it was this girl here, and it was basically just a monster single. Lamb did, lamb was fine, lamb even got up. And then that's when it stood up, I noticed its guts had popped out, and I think it was just because it was such a big pool, its guts had popped through its navel. But she's a bit sad because it was a big pool. And you know, we're, we're learning with this job, you think you've been doing it for all these years, you learn all the time, and we've definitely had too much grass this year, especially for the singles. We're having to lamb virtually every single now. No feeding, just too much grass. And yeah, that's a real lesson. We'll need to, at scanning time next year, we'll need to separate them off and be really hard on them. You know, try and, try and keep these lambs a respectable size. So I'm just going to give her a jag because she, she maybe won't know that I'm sitting here. But even just the way she's sitting quite calmly, you know, she's a gimmer. She was stone mad earlier, now she's lost that kind of flight, that vigour. Her ears are just a little bit down. Just a little bit down. Her breathing's not too bad. But you've got to watch it, so I'm guessing she's probably had just a wee bit of a tear. I mean, there's no real fresh blood there, but you know, it was a big lamb, as I say. Well, so big, it pressed its, it's guts out, so we'll give her some antibiotics and some Metacam and uh, keep an eye on her. Metacam's just like a pain, pain relief, uh, kind of anti-inflammatory type thing, I think. Uh, but, you know, most of them are good success stories. Obviously, that one's not been let out yet. Still got the triplets here. He looks terrible, but he's actually okay. Let me just pop them up for you. We just had them all up because I was like, oh, I want to lift one of these to rub it on, but I'm like, she's actually making a good job with them, but maybe we just lift that one. Uh, this wee guy's in here with his lynx can. Using that for a wee adoption. Spray on the lamb, spray on the, the ewe. Oh, steady mum. This is another one a bit wild earlier. She's a rub on as well, dead lamb. Yeah, that was a dead lamb this morning. She's a rub on. Just had that up, it's got a full belly. But yeah, there's loads of kind of wild, skitty gimmers down there, so won't upset them. We need to go and do final rounds now. It's amazing how much time you lose just doing little jobs. The team are away checking uh, the bit next door, and then they're going to go home. Need to be conscious, obviously, they're doing massive days as well, so try and where I can. It's a Saturday. Try and get them away sharpish. Owen's doing a night shift tonight. He's off his head. Um, off his bloody head. But yeah, he's doing a night shift tonight, to be on again, I tell you. Right, let's go on and we'll get round these sheep again.
Okay, so back from final rounds, we're on the head torch. Little Lammy was up until this, this Lammy knocked him down. So from death, death's door a few a few moments ago to on his feet shouting for mum, let's pop them in. Although that, that's the one good story. I've got some another ridiculous story to share with you in just a second. Was it you mum? It was you. Steady mum, steady mum. Steady, you're a wild gimmer, I know. Steady mum, steady mum, steady mum, let's try and get that skinned on lamb in, in for a wee sook as quick as we can. She is not enjoying that lamb with the skin on so let's just avoid a lot of stress and leave mum with a single. We tried it, sorry mum, just love love that wee lamb. Come into the pen, get mum up, she's lying on top of the lamb. In, in one way it kind of solves the problem of has it got a bent neck, but in another way it's like why are we getting so so much bloody bad luck? We get through, we're in better weather now, much better weather today, apart from the cold, wet showers and horrible wind. But, uh, it's like, <laughs> it's so much bad luck with things. It's singles hanging someone that's really upset me. Like, you have to be onto it immediately. They're just so bloody big. And then when you get them out alive, the guts are pushed at them. <sighs> that's... That's the negatives today, folks. That's the negatives today. What was I doing there? Uh, oh, going to take that lamb to the pet lamb shed. And then I think that's me for the night. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the videos. We're not censoring them anymore, of course. Uh, but we are getting hammered with YouTube revenue, so I always say please do check out the merch store. You can support us that way. Get a little something nice for yourself in the bargain as well. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you again tomorrow with more problems and struggles. All the best.